back. A string of car break-ins in Homewood have police reminding people there to take the valuables out of their cars at night. Yeah, two Samford University students were among the victims this weekend. Now, CBS 42 News reporter Michael Oder learned that some of these break-ins may not be random. Homewood police tell me that when criminals are looking to break into a car, the first thing they check is the door handle to see if the car is left unlocked. But in the cases from over the weekend, police say the victims may have actually been targeted. I mean, this is where the glass was just hanging onto the tent. It's still sitting in the back of my car. Ashton Nix is still cleaning glass out of his vehicle. The Sanford student discovered his SUV was broken into Saturday morning, something he never thought would happen. It, it makes me a little nervous to leave stuff in my car. I mean, I never thought anything of it before. Ashton had his golf clubs in the back of his Tahoe. Thieves took about $4,000 worth of stuff. But it's what they left behind that has both Ashton and the police scratching their heads. It was a handwritten note. According to the police, it's very unusual. Um, you know, they said most people in this sort of situation, you know, they're in and they're out in a couple of minutes. They don't, they try to leave as little trace as possible behind. Homewood police say there were a handful of car break-ins over the weekend. Ashton's friend, who's also a Sanford student, was targeted as well. Neither of them can figure out the connection. Again, they don't know why. We don't know why. They don't know who. We don't know who. I mean, we're hoping to figure some of this stuff out sooner rather than later. In Homewood, Michael Loder, CBS 42 News. Thank you, Michael. One person is